we will have a look how we can create parallax effects as you can see so let's get into this when it comes to parallax effects there are two ways go about it firstly the obvious one you can go to main camera and projection you can select perspective and you can uh, uh, drag the background layers or each layers uh, from a different position from far from the camera okay the far from the camera will uh, move uh, less as compared to the cl closer one okay the background so i'm not gonna talk about this in this video i'm so we will create the another way which we, uh, which we will create a script and by that script we will control the parallax effect okay so uh, so i'm gonna select this orthographic once again and uh, before that uh, duplicate your layers couple of times so i'm gonna select all of them Control d to duplicate and move it in the right and left as well so i'm gonna move it something like 30 and uh, what we will do uh, we're gonna make uh, the duplicate one child of the first one okay make it uh, uh, the child of the first one as you can see so i'm gonna make that and uh, as you can see and uh, I and we will create the script okay so go to assets right click on it create she shop script name it to something like a uh, parallax and select the parent game object not the child one uh, parent sprite or the background parent background okay select that so i'm gonna select all of them and drag this parallax uh, uh, script to add component section or you can find hit this add component and find the whatever you have named it okay so double click that to open up in visual studio before that uh, we need the current position of the main camera okay main camera as well as the background uh, uh, current position of the background in the x axis as well as the length of the background okay so we will get that so we're gonna go over to uh, script okay uh, script and we need to assign those in the start of the game so okay so we will assign the first will be and we're gonna make it public so, uh, sorry private it doesn't need to be public so the first one will be start post basically uh, basically the current position of the background uh, for each background in the x axis it will be and second thing we will have the length so comma length and uh, we also need the camera okay so we're gonna make it private uh, it doesn't need to be pub public sorry that will as you know the camera is also an game object so that's why we have to type the game object and that uh, and we're gonna call it something like cam and uh, and we also need the uh, effect how much parallax you want so we will make that public so we can set for different background or different layer a different number okay that uh, we will call it something like parallax effect okay parallax effect and close that off with semicolon and we will assign those variable in the start of the game and as you know start function get called whenever the game starts so we will grab all of the reference firstly the start post what we will do we're gonna set this start post equal to transform okay transform dot position dot x and close that off with semicolon basically what we're doing as you know we have attached this parallax script to each of background so the transform basically over there means the uh, this transform okay and we are setting position and then we accessing this x axis so as you know as you can see for each background this will be zero so the start pose over here okay start pose over here we setting equal to that transform dot position dot x which is zero so the start pose over here will be zero because we directly setting it and the next thing we need the length so we, what we gonna do we will set this length uh, actually we we gonna go to this uh, sprite renderer by this reference we will get the size or, or the length of the sprite okay or the background so we will set this one uh, this okay this dot get component basically it's referring itself uh, the uh, the, uh, the component is a sprite renderer as you seen by that sprite renderer we will get the uh, we will get the size so we have to use this dot and we're gonna use this pounds then dot size then dot x basically the x size okay x axis the size in the x axis as you can see so with the um, in the start of the game we are getting the uh, the size or the length of the 
sprite uh, for each background in the x axis okay so we also need the camera reference as you can see so what we will do we will set this cam equal to uh, equal to game object we will use this function game object dot find object with tag okay find object with tag and we have to pass the tag name as if we go to a unity editor if we select this main camera as you can see the main camera has been assigned with this main camera tag so we have to pass the same name in quotation so we have to pass the uh, tag name which is main camera okay and uh, close that off with semicolon so in the start of the game what we doing we just getting the camera reference we using this game object dot find object with tag and we have to pass the in quotation the name of the tag as you seen so now we have the camera the length of the sprite as well as the position of the sprite or the background in the x axis now what we gonna do we're gonna go over to update function and as you know update function get call every single frame so what we will do we will take the uh, camera okay and we will multiply this parallax effect we will take the camera uh, current push so we will go to uh, camera and we will access this transform then position then x and we multiply this with some value or, or this uh, parallax effect and we will choose a different number for different layers or background okay so we will go to cam and we will access the transform then we will go to position then x and we will multiply this uh, parallax effect so we just taking the camera okay and close that off with semicolon we just taking the camera in the x axis and we multiplying with this parallax basically we moving the camera okay so what we will do we will uh, store this result into another variable so that will be float as you know the result will be float and we will call it something like distance and we're gonna set equal to this so with the whatever the result is we storing that uh, into this distance parameter as you can see we're just taking the camera in the x axis and we just multiplying with this parallax effect for different layers or background we will choose a different parallax number okay how much you want and we storing that into this distance parameter so what we will do we will add this to top of our current position of the background basically uh, we will go to current position of the background or layers okay and we will add that distance top of our current position so in the next line we will set transform dot position basically transform dot position over here means the current position of the background or layers as you know we have attached this uh, parallax effect uh, script to our this uh, all of this background so the transform basically means it's referring this one transform okay so we will set the current position of the background okay basically we just um, uh, we need to move the background okay so that's why uh, so we will set this equal to new factor 3 and as you know vector 3 has x axis axis y axis and the z axis okay and close that off with semicolon so in the x axis we will we'll do the parallax so uh, so what we will do we will add to top of uh, and as you know start pose basically means the current position of the background in the x axis we getting the reference as you can see star pose transform dot position dot x and top of it we will add this distance parameter okay or the result of the back um, main camera so so we will add this on top of our uh, top of our current position of the background so we gonna use this distance sorry so we will add this top of our current position of the background in the x axis okay and in the y axis we not uh, do any parallax effect so we're gonna set itself so transform dot position dot y means uh, means the background itself in the y axis and we're not gonna add top of anything so we're not going to do it and exactly we do it, we will do for the z axis as well so we're gonna set itself so transform dot position dot set basically means itself in the z axis okay so control s on your keyboard to save this and again to unity so you uh, we're gonna choose a different number okay for background or for different layers we will choose a different parallax amount okay for the sky which will be far from the main camera so we will choose a lesser number so it will move less uh, as compared to the uh, the closer one to main camera layer okay so we will choose uh, the the far from the main camera will be so we will choose a less number 
the closer as compared to the closer one okay so for the sky we will choose something like 0.1 okay for the rocks this rock we will choose something like 0.3 i guess not 0.3 uh sorry uh for the clouds will be far from so we will select 0.2 and for the words we will select 0.3 okay it's just up to you how much you want to have in your parallax effect okay so for this cloud which will be far from the main camera so we're gonna choose a less number something like 0.15 okay and for this rock which will be uh, closer to main camera so we will choose a bigger number something like 0.1 sorry not point 0.1 for these rocks we are gonna select point 0.1 for this sky uh, which will be far from the background so we're gonna choose something like point 0.02 okay point 0.02 or point 0.1 something like that for this rock i'm gonna select something like point 0.4 okay now if i hit play you will able to see the layers or the background will move differently okay uh the sky will move less as compared to the uh, rocks which is closer to main camera okay so as you can see the background layers is moving differently as you can see but uh, when uh, we over here as you can see the background it's not looping anymore so what we will do uh, we need the actual position of the main camera as well as you can see we just creating the illusion we taking the current position of the main camera in the x axis and we multiplying this uh, this parallax effect so we also need the uh, actual position of uh, okay the main camera so we're gonna go to town and we're gonna create another parameter sorry this will be float okay and it will be temp for temporary and we're gonna set this equal to we will take the current position of the camera in the x axis so we will go to transform then position then x position we will access and we will multiply this one minus parallel effect, effect whatever we have multiplied we just subtracting that okay and close that off with semicolon and uh, we're gonna go to down and we're gonna uh, take this the current position of the main camera or the camera and we're gonna check if it's uh, greater than our start post okay start post plus length okay start post basically over here means the current position of the background and uh, on top of it we adding the length and if it's the case basically we taking the current position of the main camera okay uh, main camera uh, basically whatever we have multiplied we just subtracting that uh, as you can see one minus parallax effect which will give us the current position or the actual uh, okay and if we are checking if that is a start post plus length basically uh, the current position of the sprite plus length of the sprite if it's greater than what we will do basically if we over here we will add and top of it we will add we will add one more uh, length okay so we will uh, basically what we doing i'm just going to explain uh, basically we are taking the current position of this sprite or the background once again and we we adding top of it the length of the sprite as you can see okay if the time is greater than basically the actual position of the camera okay if it's greater than start post plus length we're taking the uh, uh, current position of the background okay or the layer and top of it we adding this length once again the the length of the sprite okay so control as on your keyboard to save this when we over here okay when the player uh, end of the background uh, the background will be loop once again because we adding the length one more time uh, to background okay to start post so just wait for to compile and choose a different number for different backgrounds or layers okay it's up to you so now if we hit play in the top we will able to see if, uh, the background will move different as compared to the backgrounds okay so which uh, we have chosen the far the sky which is less number so if we over here okay end of the background we will able to see the background or the sky will be looped as well as the rocks as you can see as you can see whenever we end of the back sprites as you can see the sprites getting looped okay i hope you get the basics idea of it and lastly thanks for watching this video okay i will see you in the next tutorial